Okay, after printing your powder, you'll select your size as layers, and so it'll just be one size there. Um, you can either cut them out individually along this black line, or you can stack a few at a time to cut. Or you can just ignore it and start matching up the numbers like this. Most of the time I just ignore it because it's faster, but it can be a lot easier if you cut off the edges. So then you can match it precisely right in the corner where that circle is. And then tape. This one actually doesn't need to be, but most of them will. Okay. Continue matching until it's all, until that circle is complete. See, I'm taping just where the pattern pieces are because you're going to be cutting that out so it's pointless to have it on a piece of the paper that you're going to be throwing away. Okay, now cut out all the pattern pieces. Now you're ready to cut out the fabric. All right, I have my fabric here ready to cut into. Um, first, you'll want to separate which pieces are going to be cut out of the fabric and then which are going to be cut out of the contrasting rigging. So here's my fabric pieces. A few of them are cut on the fold, so you're going to fold your fabric on the grain line. Place the fold line right along the folded edge of the fabric. And you'll see there's a couple notches labeled here. So you'll clip those into the fabric. Just about an eighth of an inch. Alright, and there's our front piece. Here's another fold piece. This one also has a couple notches, so remember to clip those. And now the sleeve is going to be opposites. So I'll cut my first one with the pattern facing up. And the second one with the pattern facing down, so we get opposite sleeves. Moving on to 
on to the binding now. There's also a couple that are cut on the fold, so I'll fold this here. And clip those notches. And you can pin these pattern pieces to the fabric just to keep them straight if you want. Okay, so I have two of these, so I'm just going to cut it on the folded over piece to get two at the same time. And two sleeve cuffs, so I'm going to fold the fabric over again and just cut them both out at the same time. While I'm cutting, I forgot to mention, I'm always paying attention to this grain line. It's pretty easy to see on the ribbon because it's uh, clear lines going this way that match with this. Um, on jersey fabric or something else, you can just stretch it to see what way that grain line is going. 